You're watching the Hubcast, a production of MongooseSports.com, brought to you by Creative Clothing. This week's special guests, Alex and Alain Saunier. And now your hosts, Alex Pittsburgh Arsenault and Chris Dobson. Thanks a lot for coming, guys. Uh, how's the summer been? Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, it's been kind of new for us, you know, the last four years. We've kind of gotten the routine where, you know, we knew we were coming to the Monkey Wildcats camp, but, um, you know, now that's, that's over, so we've got a new challenge. We're going to go, uh, we joined the University of Moncton, and, and uh, so uh, it was a lot different summer. We, uh, but we trained really hard and a lot less of, uh, on the ice because we have a longer summer to train and stuff, so, uh, but we're excited for the new season. So what's it going to be like to uh, be rookies again? You guys have been veterans, you guys are co-captains, the lead in the group, now you guys are the little guys. What's that going to be like? Yeah, for sure, it's going to be a lot different for us, but I mean, there's a lot of guys on the U Moncton team, we know, we know uh, Joe Dewan's going to be a uh, captain there, so uh, it's going to be different for us to be rookies, but we're going to look up to the older guys, because it's a new league, it's only a 28-game schedule, so we're not used to that, so we're going to see how they handle, handle the, themselves, and uh, we'll follow their steps, but we'll also, we think we've got a lot of experience to bring to that team too, so uh, we'll try to bring our fair share. So you're still going to be kind of try to show your leadership a little bit as well, even though you're rookies? You're not gonna... Yeah, exactly. Like you said, we're obviously going to look at the older guys that been through a couple of years of university because we don't know, you know, it's a lot, the schedule is a lot different, so we'll definitely look up to them, but at the same time, I think, you know, we, we won a QMGHL championship and, and we've, uh, we've ha have that experience, so if we can share with the other guys, it's definitely not going to hurt the team. So on the university subject, are you guys, what are you guys taking in school? Uh, well, we've been uh, taking uh, business administration for a couple of years now, so we're about a year and a half done. Uh, so we're, gonna, we're planning on going to school for the next two years at least and then uh, we'll uh, feel out our options of uh, if we want to keep playing hockey or not. So uh, we're just taking it one year at a time and we're excited to get it started. Alright, so you guys haven't shut the door on the pro side or anything? No, exactly. Kinda... I mean, we, we, we know we want to finish our school. Um, we almost have two years done, so uh, we're going to play two years for sure, finish our degree. And then uh, you know we'll look at our options. If we you know have good careers in university, we might have uh, doors that open for us you know out in pro, and it's something that we're definitely going to look at. Uh, and we'll have a deg degree as our backup plan. So have you guys set any expectations as rookies going into camp for I mean for for the Blue Eagles? Well, I know it's not like coming in the queue when you're 16 or 17. There's 20 year old guys. It's all men's here. Uh, we know a lot of guys. It's all guys that we played against in the queue. So. For ourselves, so we're not going to put too much pressure on ourselves, but uh, we're going in there and we know our role is to score. We've been uh, offensive players our whole career, so we're going to try to help out uh, the team uh, in that side of the game and uh, also be good. Uh, we've been good penalty killers for the Wildcats the last couple of years, I think, so if they want us to play that role, we'll try to contribute that way too. So I noticed uh, as far as going to uh, the University of Moncton, was there, uh, so what was the defining factor of staying home? I mean, I'm sure you guys had multiple options on the table. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we had couple uh, pro options and we had uh, other universities inquiring about where we wanted to play and, and you know obviously we, we respect all the universities that we, we had contact with but um, you know it was just too comfortable to stay in Moncton especially the French school and, and we know a lot of the guys a lot of great people that we knew uh, from the university Moncton University organization so um, you know definitely a hard choice but I think we're happy with, uh, what, with our choice and looking forward to you know, uh, starting the season. So uh, you guys mentioned that you guys had offers. Uh, if an offer came, for example, that split you guys up, would you guys entertain that offer? Or you guys, I know you guys have been playing together probably prior well, since you guys were born. Or yeah, but it's, it's going to be different now because you don't get, like, it's not when the queue, we had to get drafted. So we had to kind of tell the teams we want to be together. Like, it's you sign contracts. So if teams are interested in us, I think we've proved over a couple of years now that we are better when we play together. and. Uh, we're de we definitely wouldn't shut down any offers that would separate us, but we definitely would like to stay together because we think it's going to benefit the team as it will us. A big adjustment for you guys is going to be moving from the Coliseum to the J. Louis Levesque. I mean, it's a big seat difference there. Uh, do you think that's going to impact anything out of you guys? No, I mean, uh, it's still five on five, and it's still, you know, uh, a hockey team against another one, and, and so same rules, but obviously it's, it's going to be a lot of changes this year, and, and uh, you know, uh, we've had our... You know, good moments at the Coliseum and our bad moments. So, uh, but I think we've we've enjoyed every minute of it, and and uh, you know we couldn't thank the Moncton Wildcats organization enough for what they've done for us and the opportunities they gave to us. But at the same time, now uh, you know we got to move to another rink, and 
and uh, you know I, they got a good fan base there, and, and we're looking forward to meeting uh, all the fans and, and everybody that's, that's a part of that organization. Uh, who would be the most influential person, you know, in your hockey lives that brought you to the level that you guys? Well, I mean, uh, I, I'm pretty sure every kid, uh, most of the kids are going to say that, but our dad was there all the way through, and he was our coach. Uh, no matter where we were playing, he was there to uh, coach us after games, and uh, he had to sometimes help us when we were down. Or so I think all the way through, he was he believed in us. We had a lot of guys that doubted us when we were because we were too small or too slow. But uh, and all our family supported us the, the whole way. So even coming to Moncton, it was real fun always having our family there to watch us and supporting us in our bad moments. So I, I'd say my family and especially my dad uh, helped us. Yeah, that is a cliche answer, but I mean. Who more than your dad has been there ever since you were born and stuff. So. If you could change anything in your hockey career up till now, what would it be? Um, well, I'll change. I mean, I think ha everything happens for a reason. So, you know, obviously um, we were part of a, a winning team, so that was fun. But last year, we uh, we thought we had a you know we could compete for another championship, and we fell short. Obviously, it was disappointing, and and but we don't have any excuse. So obviously, I'd like to you know, have last season again, all over again, but. Everything happens for a reason. You learn from that experience and you move on. Moving forward, what kind of goals do you, have you guys set for yourself? Not just as rookies, but overall long term, as long as you are moving forward with the team. Well, for us, I mean, we, we want to get a degree done, but uh, our goal is always to, we've been uh, competitors since we were young and we want to win championships. So uh, it's going to be uh, Moncton, they've been rebuilding for a few years now. They went to uh, the Nationals a couple of years ago, but. Uh, we want to help that team. We think we've they've recruited a couple of good players, and uh, we, they got a good pl uh, players to build around there. So uh, we're hoping to bring that team to another national championship. What makes other than your jersey number and your position? What what's the difference between Ada and Adex? Like how do? I mean, guys, uh, there has to be. Yeah. You guys aren't just yeah. the clones. Yeah. You guys I are mean, twins, uh, right? Teammates so. have a hard time. It takes. I, I always say three or four months to uh, to get it you know right. But uh, I don't know. We're kind of. Uh, uh, Pretty much same people, and uh, I think uh, uh, our teammates uh, enjoy us as as teammates because you know we kind of joke around. It's been kind of a little joke, but uh, at the same time on the ice, uh, I think uh, we're, we're can different players uh, the way we play. So you guys play tricks on them, you know the rookies probably. <laughs> uh, well, I, we team up to play tricks on them, so uh, no, it's been fun. A couple of years, there was definitely a lot of pranks going on, and with the rookies and stuff, but it was all fun stuff. I mean. Those are the best memories of junior hockey is just being with the boys and that's, uh, that's what I think we're going to miss the most is uh, not being with the boys but we got a new team to look forward to and uh, we'll definitely be at a Coliseum to see the guys and cheer them on and uh, hopefully they have a good season. Speaking of the boys, you see us behind us there, is it, uh, is it tough to not be out there on the ice with those guys right now? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, obviously we wish them the best of luck but a lot of good friends we made over there that are playing there and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll be in contact with them, you know, our whole life and and, but like my brother said, we got to move on now. It's a new challenge. We're going to make new friends, but we'll always be, you know, Moncton Wildcats, and, uh, and we'll always support that team, but um, we got to look forward to something else. That's great, guys. And again, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I know that with us just starting out, this is big for us. So we appreciate you coming, and uh, good luck. You've been watching The Hubcast, a production of MonctonSports.com. Special thanks go out to the Red Ball Internet 4 Ice Center, the Moncton Wildcats, our sponsor, Creative Clothing, and most importantly you. Thanks for watching.